Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Eternos is a platform that allows its users to host Minecraft servers so they can play with anyone for free. In this video, I will show you how to add mods to your existing Eternos server. Let's go! For context, mods refer to packages or libraries that can be integrated into your Eternos server to enhance the gaming experience beyond the regular Minecraft gameplay. To get started, open your browser, access eternos.org server, and sign in with your account. For quick access, click the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below. After logging in, go to the server's dashboard and select the specific server you want to integrate your mods into. Next, you will have to install the server software, also known as Modpack, needed to load the mods onto your server. In the left sidebar menu, proceed to the Software tab, and choose a mod pack such as Fabric, Quilt, Forge, and more. Every mod pack offers various mods with individual features, items, blocks, and more, so you can decide which one better suits your current preferences. Note that each mod pack is available in different versions. To get the most out of them, you can choose the latest version, which is listed first by default, or the recommended ones, which are those marked with stars. After selecting the specific version, click the Install button. Once the mod pack is installed, navigate to the Mods tab. Here you should be able to see the full list of mods offered by the server software you selected earlier. You can browse the list or use the search bar if you have a specific mod in mind that you want to install. Please note that only mods listed on CurseForge or ModRynth can be installed on Eternos as of recording. Click on the tag or visit the links in the description below for a full list of compatible mods. Similar to the server software, every mod is also downloadable for different game versions. To avoid errors or version conflicts, be sure to select the one that matches the mod pack version you previously installed. In my case, I downloaded the Minecraft Forge version 1.20.4, so I'll make sure to install the game version of the mod exactly as it is. Another important thing to remember, sometimes a mod requires additional dependencies to work properly. Dependencies refer to separate mods that are required to experience the full functionality of the primary mod you have chosen. To check if your chosen mod has any dependencies, follow the documentation link. Open the Relations tab and see if there are any listed. If so, get the name and follow the same steps as explained earlier to install it on your Eterno server. When everything is set up, navigate to the Files tab and check the list of mods you have installed. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.